This site is one of some significance. Its data will assist us on our quest. I'm alive. Stefano saved me. The Mercury attempted an emergency takeoff and everything seemed fine. I was helping the bridge crew with the emergency takeoff since the crew is, well, was shorthanded because of everything. I heard the sound of metal tearing and for a split second, everything was tinged bright green and unbearably hot. Then I saw daylight and I was looking down at the ocean and ice. The strongest wind I've ever felt roared in my ears, ripping through the ship. People went flying out the side of the Mercury, so much screaming and chaos. I was lucky. I had just clipped into my seat anchor. Stephanos came out of nowhere, like a malaika, an angel. I felt his rough, calloused hand grasp mine with the gentlest of urgency. Felt like time slowed, he said. I gotcha. Just follow me, Ella. I don't know how, but he used an emergency tether to drag me to the nuclear reactor core, the strongest bulkhead in the ship. We hit the water and everything went black. <sighs> He's sleeping. I think he might have hit his head. I'm exhausted. The adrenaline has long since worn off and my body aches. I think I might have fractured the rib. I'm gonna shut my eyes for a bit. When I wake up, I'll figure this out. I'll save us. Things are never wrong. Stephanos has always been overly cautious. He hates taking risks, which I suppose is understandable when you're in the back end of the galaxy. But no risk, no reward. Elliot finds evidence of alien architecture on a completely uncharted planet, and he expects me to ignore that? Huh, Orion's belt, I would be an absolute fool. We've done some scans, and while there aren't a lot of mineral resources on this planet, there is decent biodiversity. Teams go out in the morning. There should be a... Oh man, oh man, oh man. This is every Xenolinguist's dream. <sighs> okay, I was helping with the planetary scans, and there are possible unknown structures on the surface. This could set my career up for life. The images are a little degraded coming through the atmosphere, but it looks like intentional and complex architecture which means civilization and civilization means da -da -da -da, language Brian's felt this all went sideways how could I have known that so much would go wrong now I just need to build the test override module and I can disable that satellite tower
nearby. Fragmented, repeating. I am struggling to locate them precisely. Fragmented images? Why would that happen? I can only theorize that the locations are deep and shielded by a refractive material. Perhaps amongst large crystal formations. Our searches have been useful. But ultimately, I have no definitive evidence as to the fate of my people. The network I hoped to rejoin may no longer exist. I cannot feel it. There could be a million reasons for that. Like, what if the network had a system update? They're on version 2001.4 and you're still on version 14.2. That would make me incompatible. How would I even begin to plan my upgrades? Okay, that's not what I meant. Bad example. You still know how to get home? Yes. So don't give up. Go there, see for yourself what happened. You are expressing optimism, but it is not supported by probability. Hope isn't based on statistics. It's born from a drive for something better. There's a poem Sam loved. Hope is human. Hope is... Uh, oh, oh, right. Hope is the the thing with feathers. This does not match any fauna designation I can find in your PDA. It's a line from a 19th century Earth author. Emily something. Hope is the thing with feathers that perches in the soul and sings the tune without the words and never stops at all. I promise we'll get answers one way or another, Helen. Adding hope to your database. Warning, passing 200 meters. Oxygen efficiency greatly decreased. lab was first breached by heavy impact, perhaps from a sea track modified with some sort of battering implement. A localized explosive charge was then released and detonated from a distance. Lab equipment was damaged to the point of inoperability, and all live specimens were destroyed. No personnel was injured. Samples have been collected for analysis to determine whether any bacteria escaped. It is, however, unlikely. The heat of the charge should have boiled everything within a 10-meter radius. Mulan 
and nearby iceberg detected, a hollow chamber typically formed by glacial melt. satellite hasn't passed by in a while. I guess that was your doing. Sam's not the only one in the family who knows, knew, what to do with vague directions and old wire. She was an original, that sister of yours. First time I met her, I was sure she was Altera through and through. Not a crease in her uniform. Sending those damn bird bots to spy everywhere. Then, she surprised me. Maybe a little too much. Meaning? If you really want to know, there's a PDA on the bench that can point you in the right direction. You need anything else? Don't bother me. <laughs> but you can help yourself to the greenhouse. The least I can do to repay you for getting those spine pests off my back. You can look all you want. There's more to Marguerite than any damn fangled gadget can see.
right, Marge, old girl. We hate this greenhouse. So here are some pointers to remember so we never have to do the worst parts again. Too bad you can't fight malnutrition by hunting it down and killing it. So, first thing, insulation. First few nights the soil was rock solid. Ended up having to insulate the damn place with dehydrated kelp. Adding a thermal mass helped too. Heat from barrels of water. Probably should have just eaten the damned kelp. But, nope, my body was craving a salad. Wish I was just made of exosuit. Next, grow lights were a must-have. Gotta admit, I felt pretty proud of my first full crop of lettuce. Fed half of it to Preston. That snow stalker will eat practically anything. Always spits half of it out, though. Another thing we have in common. The slobbery green mess makes good compost. I've already synthesized an antidote and stashed it in a cave. I can go grab it and... That's your plan? You don't think it'll work? <sighs> You're thinking too small. Like maybe if you're polite enough about destroying the bacteria, Altera will come around and see it your way. But do you believe in yourself or not? I think so. You think so? Come on! Is a bacteria a threat, or isn't it? It is. Does it need to be dealt with or not? It does. So who's right on this? I am. Say it like you mean it! I am. I said like you mean it, not like you're testifying before a rigged transgov court. I am right. Then what you gotta do is seal off the whole cave. I've got just the stuff. Made it for fishing, but it blew the whole ice shelf halfway to deep space. Vaporized all the fish. Okay. And you gotta hit the lab too, or there's just no point. Actually, you know what? Let me take care of that one. It'll be fun. Warning, passing 100 meters. Oxygen efficiency decreased. You again. Hmm. fortnight into our voyage. I was more or less living inside the creature's ribcage. It meant shelter, and it meant food. The flesh was starting to rot. The stench was unlike anything I'd ever smelled. As we floated, the temperature dropped, and the rotten meat began to stiffen and freeze. Slowly, almost imperceptibly, the Reaper began to lose buoyancy. We sank a little each day. My sanctuary 
was becoming my tomb, and I was at the mercy of the current and the winds. Until one day, I saw a smattering of penguins in the distance. Swimming birds usually mean solid land of some kind. I was lucky. The winds followed their path. Hours later, I saw a blessed sight. An unmoving cloud sitting upon the water. Land. It renewed my spirit as I watched the land get closer and closer. The reaper slowly sank, but I was no longer worried. When the reaper finally sank below the water, I was close enough to lazily swim my I made a note to come back for the reaper skull. I didn't ride the beast for three weeks to have no proof. Land never felt so good, even in this arctic hell.